Good morning guys, welcome to Saturday and another motorway. I am driving my Audi to Dub Customs as promised in, I'm not sure whether it's yesterday's video or the day before's video because I've currently got my laptop right now with me and I am going to be editing the video that I shot, the vlog that I shot yesterday with Yanni, with Jack and I have no idea what the internet strength is like at Dub Customs. Who knows what we get up to, but right now, I'm quite tired. I stayed up last night to watch the Olympic opening ceremony, and yes, it is, well, I got up at about half past eight, and I was out the door just before 10 o'clock, and now I've got an hour drive to Dub Customs. So fingers crossed, it's a good day. Fingers crossed the weather stays as good as it, as it is. I've got the air conditioning on at the moment because for some reason I wanted to wear this hoodie today. So, yeah. So the nuke is back at Dub. I've arrived, SLS here, Focus RS is still here. The light highlighter yellow Fiesta is over there. Dan's working on the RS and the all-wheel drive Jaguar F-Type. And Sean is already stripping my A1. And Nick is somewhere outside getting a barbecue on the go. This is what Dub Customs is like on a Saturday. I quite like it here. But I need to come through here. There's a hurricane on the screen here. And I've set my laptop up so that I can edit yesterday's video. It's a barbecue. And Sid's on his way down as well, so maybe Whilst it's quite empty in the car park and empty around the industrial estate because most of the stuff happens during the week, if he comes down in his Cayman R, I might go out with him and ask for some tips on how to uh, drift. Right, I've cut my editing short. I've got my little iPhone polarizer because there is a brand new 2016 Audi R8 V10 Plus that has just arrived in a stunning white color. I wanna get some pictures. It's parked next to my car. It looks incredible. I absolutely love the shape of the R8 V10 Plus. It uh, looks like a stormtrooper. Pac-Man, Pac-Man Jag. There's one way to make me postpone all of my editing, and that is have a bunch of awesome cars lined up next to each other so that I can have a look at and take pictures of, basically. <laughs> Dub Customs on a Saturday is epic. Barbecues on the go, Vanquish, ROV 10 Plus, my car and Sam's car, still with the Pac-Man on the side. Um, yeah, very, very cool lineup. This is like the perfect Saturday. Burgers on the go. And the Audi R8 V10 Plus owner, Tony, has kindly let me drive his R8 V10 Plus. So I've set the GoPros up. We've got one on the rear and one inside the car. And this is the first time, one Supercars of London, that I'm gonna drive that car. I've driven it once for about 10 minutes off camera as a test driver of the Watford Audi. But uh, because that was at the process of whether I was working out whether to buy this car or not, I didn't film it. So I'm excited. I'm gonna put this camera down, set the GoPro up, and let's go for a blast. You know everything works, don't you? Yep. <laughs> Actually. <laughs> so you were just saying this is going to be the first time that you've passengered in this car? Correct. A bit nervous. <laughs> <laughs> I always, I, whenever I'm a passenger in the car, because you just, you never know completely 100% when the driver is going to put the foot down. That's when you really feel the power of this car. No, yeah, you do. Yeah, you're not braced, are you? We're in dynamic now with the exhaust valve shut, I assume. Well, in dynamic, they should be on. Oh, they should, they should be, be on. on. Yeah, they oh. should be on. No, it's off. It's That's off. it. Yeah, it's on. There you go. Oh, yes. It's better, isn't it? Yeah. It's quite far. It breaks well. <laughs> yeah. It's just like naturally aspirated powers. Yeah, it is. It's instant, yeah. Very good. 
hope either this camera or the camera behind is picking the crackles up of the exhaust yeah. because it takes a while for them to warm up. You, Does it? Yeah. But then once you obviously... for it and it doesn't it won't do it yeah that's got such a nice sound to it that's quite long. one of the best noises yeah full stop <laughs> but Tony, thank you incredibly pleasure. for this opportunity to drive this car. Absolute pleasure. It's been I enjoyed fun. it. Yeah. Epic. Awesome car. I am so glad I've come down to Dub Customs today. I'm pretty sure as well. Sean has said that my spoiler is on the car. It is on the car. I've just taken the GoPros off. Huge thank you to Tony at Gravelwood for allowing me to drive his V10 R8 Plus. No, V10 R8 Plus? Yeah, R8 V10 Plus. Just an odd way of saying it. But Look, my car's got a spoiler. Right now I'm actually gonna have to edit this video because otherwise it won't edit itself. Excellent, my car engine is running, the A1 badge is on, the spoiler is on, and it is nearly time for me to head back on the road. It is a beautiful day outside and I've spent most of it either in the office or inside here checking out what went on. It's a shame that I couldn't document what the process was of getting the spoiler on, but I was driving an R8 V10 Plus, so I'm kind of not sorry at the same time. Uh, this SLS is still here, it's pretty damn cool. I heard that TVR earlier, which is crazy loud. That went outside for a little bit whilst I was editing. I had my headphones in and that noise set a car alarm off in here and I heard it through my headphones. So 
yeah, it's been a pretty crazy day on a Saturday. Fantastic hospitality as always, barbecue, supercars, and beautiful weather. Maneuvering between a Range Rover and the dub blue Aston Martin DB9. The work that these guys do is crazy. They're delivering an all wheel drive Jaguar F-Type right in front of me. It is an absolute beast. Maybe you'll see it on the wide angle lens. Window down. There's no sound, unfortunately. Huh? Yeah, the exhaust note on this. Yeah. <laughs> see you later. What a phenomenal day it has been at Dub Customs. There have been some crazy cars. I had an awesome opportunity to drive the Audi R8 V10 Plus 2016 model. What an awesome car that is. Um, there's been going to be a lot of comments to say get one. <laughs> but now it's time to get back home, get this video edited, and hopefully you enjoyed yesterday's video, which I've just finished editing as well. So it's been a mixture of enjoying myself and at the same time editing and making sure that the videos are going out on time. And next week is gonna be a lot of fun. I'm gonna be going to London a couple of times and getting myself prepared for the next trip. The next trip is to Monaco. I'm not driving, but I will be driving when I get down to Monaco. So stay tuned guys. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I look forward to seeing you this week for some more awesome supercar action. Cheers guys.